In 2005, High Wheel, the Bavarian Mavericks of progressive rock, returned to the roots to perform a unique concert that would also serve as the basis for their official live album. High Wheel had always enthralled their audience with an impeccable ability to translate their studio work onto stage. After having released four highly complex studio records between the years 1993 and 2002, and after having performed in Europe and America, it was time to capture the energy of the concert performance. To achieve an optimal sound control, the band had chosen a very particular and rather intimate venue not far from their hometowns. Here they performed in front of a crowd of familiar faces, people who had known them for years. Canton was a rather secluded location, halfway between two small towns and surrounded by the Alpine mountains. Here, in the deepest heart of Bavarian idiosyncrasy, Highwheel performed an intense concert, over two hours long, showcasing material from all of their studio albums. To create video footage of this gig was a spur of the moment thing and came together at the last minute. I had contacted the band and visited them only two days prior to the concert in their somewhat exotic rehearsal room in the town of Hausham to discuss the details. High Wheel has always been a four-piece band, which never had a lineup change. And if you knew these guys as long as I did, you would probably agree that this band could only exist with these four musicians. Guitar, vocals and flute you have Wolfgang Hirl, the main composer in the band. On bass and vocals and the occasional keyboard hijinks is Erich Kogler. Wolfgang and Erich had already played together in the 80s as teenagers in one of the most hilarious school bands of all times the regional thrash metal phenomenon called the Hammers. On keyboards and occasional vocals you have Andreas Lobinger. As it often is with keyboarders, he is the technician and master of all things electronic in the band. <laughs> and on drums you have Uli Jenne. His energetic yet precise and highly organized style of playing is the driving engine inside this musical gear wheels. Ja. Tschüss, 
so wir dann gleich weiter, oder? Ja, gehen wir das Ganze mal machen. Ja, wir Nur warten, bis Bandler da, Bandler, was war das für Twitter? Äh. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. B, C, D. B, C, D. Ja, ganz einfach. B, C, D, S. Genau, dann spiel viel Safe an der Spiel. Teile drin, das ist ja voll scheiße. Ich 
Chuck Norris. On March 24, I arrived at the club armed with one good camera and a crappy one. I quickly discovered that their sound engineer had brought his own mini DV camcorder to make some commemorative shots. That allowed me to record the band simultaneously with three cameras. Buchhaltung zwischendrin, oder? Sehr mager. Es ist so, so leise im Vergleich zu seinem Bassinstrument. Okay. In dem Moment, wo er loslegt, geht. Ich stehe jetzt ein bisschen ab. And the cameras did their job for the most part. But as the concert progressed, I started to run out of tape and battery juice. In the end, we ran out of time and entered the void. But the result is a mesmerizing snapshot in space and time. And almost a nostalgic testimonial of a concert culture devoid of an audience holding cell phones over their heads the entire time. Those were the last days of a different era. As luck would have it, this footage had disappeared in the vault and is now, after almost two decades, being unearthed for the very first time. But enough talking. Put on your headphones, pour yourself a drink and enjoy the concert. And uh, let it sink in, because in 2005, this was one of the best prog rock groups in the world. 